This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Boosie gets called out for fishing with another man. And people always try to put him in some flagrant talk stuff. Um, <laughs> Let's listen to this. Woke up a lot of people and they feeling about me fishing. Talking about I was fishing with a net. Don't play with me. You know what they saying about me. I will put hooks in their jaws. So that fish stick to your skin. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. All I eat is fish, and I ain't eating. I'm saving all my food money this year. All I eat is fish. I'm a fishitarian. It's a fish. <laughs> uh, Fat Joe talks about uh, labels kind of being a Ponzi scheme because you never get out of the debt from the label. You know, it's crazy. They got my net worth at $4 million when I go in there and shit. I got to watch $4 million. Got me. Cap, you don't have a watch that's worth four million, my G. He fucked up, but it's cool. Let's fly under the radar. But Forbes said, Joe, come through. Let's talk about business. Well, in the business, they asked me, independent or major? And I said, the major labels, the major record labels are a Ponzi scheme. What does that mean, Joe? It means that when you, as smart as me, and you've been around long enough as me, you realize that it's just like a bank. Most of the time, they take a kid, they grew up in the projects, projects maybe this talented. If you look at all of us, I think the only guy who had a good upbringing that got signed was Chance the Rapper. It's probably the only guy who they finagled his way in the system. Um, but other than that, everybody was broke. Everybody's a project baby, right? Looking for their way out. And so, here you go, they give you money up uh, to make your album or whatever. They charge you, though they make the profit of the records, they charge you whatever they spend on the video. It ain't like we 50-50 partners, they pay half of the video, we pay half of the... Look, at the end of the day, the math, you can bring the, a scientist who wins the Nobel Peace Prize to do the... You know, it's crazy, they got my network. <clears throat> Okay, all I I'm, all I can say is this, because I'm not gonna accuse Fat Joe of anything. But look up, it's called uh, MarketAmericaShop.com. Okay, and with the, the exact video, it's a market. It's it's a Market America video, and Fat Joe comes out and talks, right? And just go uh, Market America Fat Joe. Okay. You'll see what he was pushing. Okay, let's just leave it at that. Also, you know, I don't think he did Big Pun's family directly super dirty, but something was off there. That's all I could say. Uh, R.I.P. Duct Tape Dave. He's part of Duct Tape, Troubles Guy, um, Big Bank Black, Alley Boy. Condolences to them. This is one of their friends. Um, he was a big part of duct tape. And I don't know how he died, honestly. But I, I heard he's dead. RIP to him. Condolences to his family. Kodak Black talks about getting off the perkies. Let's listen. What I was saying. I was saying. I love I heard. Yeah, but if you know me, bro, you know... I don't even lie at perks or pussy. I never been a type of gonna be pressed for pussy. But I remember a point in my life when I was chewing a lot of perks. I'm proud of myself. I've never been as happy in my life, bro. I don't know where this L came from. What the fuck going on? I ain't even gonna say I'm anti perk Like, I never took a perk since I've been home. But, bro, my dose is so low that I can't believe it myself. Man, I'm That's good. So he's getting clean. 
And he says it's been you know, clearing his head and everything. So that's what's up. Then we got this girl. She is labeled as one of the sex workers with Diddy Case, right? And she says, uh, let's see. News of Ronnie Jones. Da, 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 da. So uh, she says J- she's speaking about the false allegations. She says dating someone doesn't directly correlate to any of the false allegations made. Um, yes, I dated someone. How unfortunate we've entered a time where caring for someone or falling in love is worthy of scrutiny in court, of public uh, public opinion. What may be amusing for you is real life for others. Anyways, that's her response. Fred Star says the Tesla cyber truck looks like a refrigerator. It's cool. He says it's cool, but it looks like a refrigerator. He ain't lying. He ain't lying, man. <laughs> I think it's ugly. It's cool. It's a different piece of technology, but anyways. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all, and I'll check you on the next one. Make sure you smash that like button.